in eight game night. In Now, the 2K Sports pregame show, brought to you by Sprite. Along with the big Aristotle, Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight's game at Quicken Loans Arena, it's the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Phoenix Suns. And the Suns going through a bit... This city is glowing on this wonderful clear night. A terrific view of Cleveland right there. It's game time in Cleveland as the crowd is filling up the Quicken Loans Arena. A good game here would get this road trip started confidently for the Suns. Guys coming into this game, it's been five consecutive losses. So confidence, obviously, will be a key for them tonight. They've been playing a lot of basketball lately, Kevin. This is their third game in four days. The league didn't make it easy for them when they set up a schedule like this. Well, I don't think it'll really have too much of a negative effect on them. But maybe the starting five won't play quite as many minutes as they usually do. But in terms of energy and endurance, I think they'll be fine. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Ludzo is out there with Brandon Knight. Then it's P.J. Tucker. Then there's Len, and it's Morris in at the four slot. Well, Kevin Love is really a player who I think befuddles pundits because the numbers say he's a superstar, probably a top five player, but then he's never been to the playoffs. To that, I would simply say basketball is a team game. Individuals don't take teams to the playoffs. So despite that, there are some left wondering if his numbers are greater than his actual impact on the team. I'm not one of them. Irving's shot is good. You know, the height difference there is huge, but he canceled it out with great body control in the air. Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself to be manhandled by the big boy. Ludzo dishes tonight. And the rejection by James. Fires from 14 and stolen by Knight. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. And Tucker kicks to Knight. Rejected by Irving. And they're able to recover. Morris, no good. And they're now one for five to start this game, so having trouble finding any offensive rhythm. Irving against Bledsoe. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And for Love, the other reason for the skepticism, you know, he's not a chiseled, overpowering athlete. He's not... ...flashy. You know, maybe he doesn't look like a superstar, but his game speaks for itself. Just the strength and the skill. And one thing for sure, last season, the Timberwolves were a disaster when Kevin Love went to the bench. That's for sure, Kevin. I mean, when he was on the floor, they outscored opponents significantly. When he sat, their offense basically imploded. On defense, the Suns trailing by two. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. And, you know, Kevin, despite the outcome, I, th I think they got to be feeling pretty good coming into this game. There are a lot of positives they can take away from that performance. Yeah, you can't dwell on the final score in that case. You have to think about the things you did well and build on those. Suns trail by four. Bloodshow outside. Feeds it to Knight. 
Morris passes tonight. Five to shoot. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Or Cleveland, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Irving kicks to James. They set the pick. He dishes it to Smith. Phoenix grabs the miss. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. And in winning that last game, guys, they drove the lane and attacked the basket very aggressively. And it led to them drawing a lot of contact inside and causing some foul trouble for their opponent. And what Steve mentioned was a big reason they came out on top. Some of their oh opponents' gosh, most important it. players, it seemed, and they spent a good chunk of first time Clark on the bench. And that really gave them an upper hand late, Kevin. I love the way they went right at them in that game, attacked them, and threw a bunch of fouls. Now, it wasn't too long ago that the Suns were selling first-round picks. Now the complete opposite. This team stacking up draft picks as they look to go young and rebuild this club. Now, here is Smith. 17 points for him last game against New York. And he played great at the defensive end of the floor, too, Kevin. He had a couple of important block shots in that game. So, good all-around effort. Now, here is Knight. Following the miss by Kevin Love. And the push for new talent in Phoenix really seen from top to bottom. New GM, first-time head coach, is yeah. that one Yeah, and they did an outstanding job. They're pushing to create a very positive culture. They're really giving everybody an opportunity to show what they can do. Thus far, the result's very impressive. Eric Bledsoe is still on the come as a playmaker and shooter, but because of his great physical gifts, he is certainly a rising star in the NBA. Here's Mozgov. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. There's 154 left in the first quarter. And Bledsoe, here we go. And the shot is good. And Steve Bledsoe, 6'1", yes, yes. with the 6'8", wingspan, winding athleticism, and he's an aggressive defender. Yeah, he's a guy who applies a lot of pressure on the ball. He attacks the glass offensively. He's giving us some highlight reel blocks, too. I mean, this, this young guy is explosive. Good! 125 left in the first. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Well, J.R. Smith, a guy who can take your breath away with his talent one moment and then exasperate you the next. Unbelievable talent, but he can be erratic offensively, especially with his shot selection. 122 left here in the first quarter. And Tucker kicks to Morris. They get a hand on it. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Right side Irving from the arc. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. And it's nine points for Kyrie Irving. And J.R. Smith closing in on 30 years of age. He's been fined almost $1 million over the course of his NBA career. And, you know, playing in China, he was fined over $1 million in a single season. How do you do that? One night he ordered $3,000 worth of room service on the team dime just to see if they keep coming. Come on, Kevin. I mean, what is this guy thinking about? Him? <laughs> Here's Knight. That one goes. Counted. Knight's got six. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And I would continue to do it. You know, force the defense to maybe send a double team. Now you've got other options to work with offensively. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? It sure does. And now it's to the point where they just feel unstoppable. Wow, this has been a thriller. I mean, the, the way these teams are battling, just going back and forth. Would you like to bet that this game may end on a buzzer beater? How much would you bet? <laughs> <laughs> and so, both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Leave one ahead. Patty Cake, Patty Cake on the Vegas man.
Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, well, what's your take? And I'm just so impressed with the long-range shooting. Uh, they have really lit it up from outside. Yeah, the sharp shooting from deep, a big part of their lead, and they're playing with confidence and shooting it well. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. Marcus Morris is out there with Brandon Wright. And it's Green, then there's Bledsoe, and it's Morris in at the center, filling out the middle. Six on the shot clock. Here's Green. No luck. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. They are coming into this having matched to win against the Knicks in their last game. And guys, they could have won that game on the strength of their offense alone. It was that good. And to do it on the road, too. I mean, with the way they just kept coming at them and coming at them, they kept that crowd out of the game the entire time. That's good work. There's the pick. And J.R. Smith picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Now Butso. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Boston. Shot clock at five. And here's Green outside. Again, the miss by Green. There's some good defense for him. For somebody who's as good at shooting the three as he is, you need a defender who's equally adept at guarding against him. That was well done. Well done. They picked the right guy to put on him. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Cleveland. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. And they're also showing some muscle here in the first half, finding a lot of points in the paint area. Kevin Love, an incredible rebound. And it seems Steve, he's brought that same desire and tenacity to his... Oh, get it! Oh, oh, oh. Watch out now! Oh. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have to build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. Bledsoe issues to Morris. Pass to Green. Here's Bledsoe. Right now averaging 17 points a game. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his range. LeBron drives in, kicks it to Love. Back to James. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Morris has got three rebounds so far in the game. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Well, guys, as we all know, LeBron James is now back in Cleveland, but he thinks his time in Miami will serve him well. As he said, Miami for me has been like college for other kids. I became a better player and a better man. I learned from a franchise that had been where I wanted to go. Kevin? He knows what it takes to win it all, Doris. Now he's trying to do it back home in Ohio. Thanks, Smith. No good. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Green, the pass to right. Back to Green. For three, Bledsoe. And again, it's the Suns missing. Cleveland leading by five. LeBron kicks to Moskov. Smith outside. There's the screen. The feed to Moskov. Green with the rebound. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. Irving drives in. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got three assists in the game. 
That's pretty much been the norm for them, getting their points off assists and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow. 